Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Marianne Williamson. Hi, my name is Ashley Wright, and this is my story. So I was just a regular girl, you know, the oldest of three, um, wanted to be a fashion designer. When I grew up, I was always told, you know, go to school, get your education. Um, and, you know, at the beginning, things were tough. I mean, my parents, of course, were living in paycheck to paycheck. I remember um, my mom going on the highway, going a totally different direction, and my dad going on the highway to the other direction. And it was tough. And I remember we had times where, um, you know, we didn't have a lot. I remember there was times we moved a lot again and again. I mean, it was tough. Um, I remember there was times as well where we were even sleeping on air mattresses for a while. So it was it was tough in the beginning. And then I remember my dad came home and he's like, you know what, we're going to start a business. And at that time, I was probably maybe 13 years old and I didn't really understand what was going on. But I remember seeing him always on the phone, always being busy. Um, after work and I'm like okay you know what something's definitely going on um, and then I remember he came home and he told us that he's he's leaving his job he's quitting his job to work, to work the business full-time and at first I'm like okay that sounds exciting because maybe you'll be home a lot more however um, of course when you're self-employed it requires even more hours and so I didn't see him as much and then I remember later on my mom decided to, to join him doing the business full-time as well and at first, once again, I was excited because I'm like, OK, you know what? Now they're going to be home a lot more. Um, but at, once again, it was the same thing where um, because they decided to start that business, they weren't home that often. And of course, me being the oldest, I really had to take care of my younger brother, my younger sister. So at the time, you know, I really didn't like the idea of the business for the most part because they were never home. So it was always me having to take care. Essentially, I really had to just grow up fast. But however, um, you know, a year went by and I saw that they were able to really, you know, business took off for them. And it was it was great. I mean, at first I, I, I was a little bit back and forth about it because of course they were never home. But on the other hand, um, we ended up moving and, you know, we had a big house and they purchased um, a nice S550 Mercedes and everything was really different. And it was exciting. And I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll take a look at this business. Maybe I'll see what's going on. And I took a look at it. And I think at this time I was around 16 years old. And um, I started to learn about the business and the industry of network marketing. And I saw how you can really be in business for yourself. And I thought it was pretty exciting at first. You know, it was really able to develop my mind and start listening to, to authors like Jim Rohn um, and reading, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad and lots of other self-development books. And I started to really change my mindset, just being around the business and being around them. Um, and then I remember that you know, things got to a point where we were traveling often. I remember we would always travel to California a couple of years in a row just for business and, and trips as well. And I remember one time particularly where my parents were on stage accepting an award um, for the fact that they were able to help a couple people earn six figures with the business. And I was just like, wow, this is exciting. But the fact is when they were on stage and they were accepting that award, I remember them breaking down just for the fact that they worked so hard just to get there. And I was like, you know what? I know at that very moment I realized, you know, I in myself, I had I had more potential. But it was at that point where I've decided to found the Right Success brand. Um, where it's solely focused around helping people with personal development, helping them build their brand and create their own story. Um, and so I've been so excited to be able to work with people and really help them in terms of changing their mindset and, and growing and seeing how they've been able to change just by the growth that they've been able and the new things that they've been able to learn. Um, so it's been a long time coming, but the most important thing about everything is the fact that sometimes you need to experience and see different things before you're able to realize your full potential.